Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here on such short notice. This morning, Canadians across the country were shocked and saddened to learn that a fatal plane crash outside of Tehran had claimed 176 innocent lives. At least 63 Canadians were on board, and a total of 138 passengers on that flight were connecting to Canada. All people who won't be coming home to their parents, their friends, their colleagues, or their family. A newlywed couple, a family of four, a mum and her two daughters, bright students and dedicated faculty members. All had so much potential, so much life ahead of them. On behalf of all Canadians, I want to express my deepest condolences to those who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Your loss is indescribable, and this is a heartbreaking tragedy. While no words will erase your pain, I want you to know that an entire country is with you. We share your grief. Dans les moments les plus tragiques, les Canadiens ont l'habitude de se serrer les coudes, d'être là les uns pour les autres. Aux communautés qui pleurent aujourd'hui la perte d'un proche, nous serons là pour vous. In the coming days and weeks, our government will continue to work closely with its partners to ensure that this crash is thoroughly investigated. Canadians have questions, and they deserve answers. Minister Champagne will be speaking with the Iranian foreign minister and conveying the need for a thorough investigation into this fatal crash. Le ministre Champagne s'est entretenu avec le gouvernement de l'Ukraine, les autorités concernées et bien de nos partenaires. De son côté, de son côté le ministre Garneau collabore étroitement avec les responsables de Transport Canada et a communiqué avec ses homologues internationaux. Earlier today, I spoke with President, President Macron, Prime Minister Johnson, President Trump, and Australian Prime Minister Morrison to discuss the matter. They all expressed their deepest sympathies to the families and to all Canadians and offered their help and support. These calls built on the conversations I've had over the past few days with Chancellor Merkel, NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg, EU Council President Charles Michel, and His Majesty the King of Jordan. About an hour ago, a Ukrainian Airlines plane just landed in Toronto from Kiev. According to the airline, there were 138 passengers who weren't on that flight because they died in the crash on the earlier leg of their travel. There are a number of steps being taken to support the families at Pearson Airport. Right now, our top priority remains the safety and security of all Canadians, may they be at home or abroad. Friends and relatives of Canadians believed to be on board should contact Global Affairs Canada's 24-7 Emergency Watch and Response Centre. Canadian citizens in Iran requiring consular assistance should contact the Canadian Embassy in Ankara, Turkey. To the families grieving, know that the Government of Canada and all Canadians are grieving with you. We will support you in the incredible difficult weeks and months ahead. This somber day comes in the wake of deeply concerning events in Iraq. Canada condemns the missile attacks launched by Iran last night. I am relieved, as are all Canadians, that all personnel deployed in Iraq are safe. I'd like to take a moment to thank once again the women and men in uniform who have worked hard with our allies to stabilize Iraq and counter Daesh. Their mission is important, and we can all be proud of their work. Je vous assure que nous prenons toutes les précautions nécessaires pour assurer la sécurité de notre personnel civil, militaire et diplomatique. Nous sommes en communication constante avec nos partenaires internationaux et nous tenons les parties d'opposition au courant de la situation qui évolue présentement. Nous continuons d'exhorter une désescalade des tensions et le dialogue dans la région.